This is my latest 3D printed kinetic sculpture. It uses gears and fishing lines to create a wavy motion. Let's talk about the engineering and physics that allows it to work. As you turn the crank, the motion is transmitted through the gear system to this circle where all the fishing line is tied to. This string mount rotates around the circle, pulling and releasing the strings in a cyclical motion. Let's start with the gear system. The gear ratio of this sculpture is 15 to 100. This means that for every turn of the crank, the main big gear moves 0.15 times. Another way to look at this is it takes 6.67 crank rotations to get a full big gear rotation. You can see from the first iteration of this sculpture that I originally had an extra gear on the crank side. This increased the gear ratio to 20 to 1, making the resulting motion much slower. Now that the gear system was working, it was time to move over to the strings. In these sculptures, I used fishing line. If we follow this one line through the sculpture, you can see it travels from the string mount through this hole, up through the top, and then connects to this hanging segment. As the string mount makes its way around the circle, it pulls and releases the string, causing the hanging segment to move up and down. When you take this movement and you translate it around the entire circle in this transition, you get this smooth, beautiful wave pattern. This sculpture physically demonstrates how circular motion translates directly to a sine wave pattern. You can see it from this graphic. As the line travels around the circle, this point is moving up and down on the y-axis corresponding to where the arrow is facing. If we were to map it to a continuously moving point along the x-axis, it actually creates this sine wave pattern. So you may remember the sine wave from your high school math class. At the time, we all thought it was completely useless. But as it turns out, it shows up in a lot of different places in real life. For example, sunrise and sunset times follow a sine pattern over the course of the year. Alternating currents, or AC power, fluctuates in a sine pattern in the walls of our homes. Even the way your home is heated in the winter follows a sign-like pattern. The heat turns on and the temperature goes up, then the heat turns off and the temperature drops in this fluctuating pattern. So this motion that is produced by the sculpture is a sine wave. It definitely looks cool and it does demonstrate the wave motion, but I wasn't fully satisfied by this sculpture because I really wanted to see a linear sine wave coming out of this circular motion. So I decided to design another sculpture using the same concept and some of the same parts. For this version, I decided to mount it on the wall and lay out the wave linearly instead of in a circle. The strings travel from the string mount, through the holes in the side of this cage, up the support structure, through the holes at the top of the cage, and then down to this distributor piece. From there, the line gets divided through this panel here and go into the weights that hang below it. As you turn the crank, the weights move in a sign pattern similar to what you would find on the graph that I showed earlier. Often people see my work and they wanna know what is the function of it. It's almost like when you see something that's engineered, it has to have a function. It can't just be a piece of art. That's all this is. This is a sculpture. It embodies the principles of physics. And I could make up some anecdote about how the cycle of the gears and the ups and downs of the wave pattern embody the ups and downs that we all feel in our everyday lives. I'm just not that kind of artist. I'm having a good time. I hope you are too. I'll see you in the next video.